Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your July mid-month tarot check. This is for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I just want to thank everyone who has been watching the readings and liking videos, commenting, and certainly subscribing. Thank you so much for doing that. And um, it's really a lot of fun to read for you. So thanks for letting me do that too. And if you're new here, we'd love to have you join us. Just hit that subscribe button and you'll be part of this beautiful community. If you want notifications, you can tap the bell. Otherwise, you know, check back every week. I'm on at least once a week. So let's get some guidance here. Guidance, please, for Aries. Sun, moon, rising and venus for aries all right now again if it the reading doesn't resonate you can always check a different part of your chart okay um check your rising or if it's love related check your moon sign all right your venus sign too um so anyway let's get started here okay current situation you've got the lovers i was talking about love wasn't i the immediate influence, you've got the Four of Swords. Your destiny here, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. The distant past, you have the Six of Pentacles. The more recent past, you have the Page of Swords. Coming towards you, you've got the Four of Wands. You're represented here by the Knight of Cups. The other person is represented by the Page of Cups. Your hopes and fears are the Seven of Pentacles, and the outcome is, ta-da, the Ten of Pentacles, the bottom of the deck. I generally pull the first two cards. You got the King of Cups and the Four of Wands, which four, or excuse me, Three of Wands, excuse me. I like the Three of Wands there because, um, you know, it's, it's fire energy. So you have here Gemini. You certainly have water, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You do have a little bit of air going on here. Um, so again, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Beautiful reading, though. You've got, definitely got new stuff coming in, but to end with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like I almost didn't want to turn the bottom over because you can't, you know, when, when that's a card like that is in the outcome position, especially with the more immediate future is the Four of wands here okay so this is what you have coming towards you uh beautiful beautiful energy you've got definitely a new opportunity but you whatever you do is going to be successful and it's definitely going to lead you to you know a place of having it all you really will have it all believe that um so for right now you have here the lovers with the Four of Swords. And when I first saw that, I thought, well, for somebody, if they are not talking to somebody, it's still a soulmate, okay? You don't just snuff that out because you're not on speaking terms. And it does feel like, for those of you that are looking to reconcile, like you had some kind of relationship that had an imbalance of power in it. And it doesn't mean that that was necessarily horrible, but it was like somebody always needed a little bit more. And for some reason that, you know, it, it, there's a break going on here with the four of swords. It's all about taking a break. Now, some of you may have also been, if, if you're looking for new love, it's certainly here, but it's also like you've been single for a while and you've been taking a break and not even trying. And that's okay. There's, I'd certainly rather see people doing that than jumping on, um, you know, dating websites, the first second they're single and doing crazy stuff to try to just fill, fill in really what tends to be avoiding knowing ourselves. So we try to fill it up with other things, people, places, all kinds of bad stuff. So, um, you know, with the lovers though, this relationship is a relationship that changes how you see life. It is a very important relationship. It is long-term, it is stable, it is steady. And you know, again, if it's been something that has been off for a while, it really is meant to be. It's like two people who finish each, each other's sentences. Um, and in terms of work, the lovers can also apply. And that is about a lot, definitely a long-term career match too. Um, it's a career that's like heaven sent. Like you, 
You go, I finally done it. I finally, all the work has paid off. I finally got this thing, um, you know, that I've, I've dreamed of. It really is about having dreams come true. So for some of you, this four of swords is taking a break, yes, but it's also using that time, okay? So to meditate, to, for those of you, sorry, my dog ran past, um, that, um, are looking for self-improvement, you know, looking at books on the subject, whatever it is, if it's quantum physics, going out and getting U squared, or if it's law of attraction, getting some Abraham Hicks materials, things like that would really serve you well. Um, I think I'm going to shut these blinds. I liked it at first and now because I like how those globes are glowing, but it's kind of starting to affect the cards. That looks better, doesn't it? So, um, you know, it's, it's really about self-improvement too. So you take a break, and you may consult some outside resource, like I said, whether it's a book or it certainly could be a person, you know, it could be somebody that you go talk to, whether it's a therapist or just somebody that you can really have a good, honest conversation with that gives, you know, either good, good direction or helps you find clarity in some way. That certainly could be part of the deal too here. Um, but it's, there's, there's a process going on here. So you've got this nine of pentacles and you're fiercely independent. You're very capable. You're able to manifest things in your life. You're able to draw money in. Certainly you have the nine and the 10 that shows up here. Actually you have, um, seven, nine, 10, six, seven, nine, 10 and pentacles. So, um, you are, you're, you don't need somebody else for money. Okay. There's definitely nothing in your your destiny that would, would signify that you're fine being independent and being single, but I do see a relationship coming in here and you definitely with the page of cups showing up too, there's for somebody here, it's, it's reconciliation. All right. I know some of you scream when I say that when you don't want them back, but for somebody it is. So, um, we have to include them too. It's always somebody's reading. It's just not always everybody. So, um, but this too is, again, it's manifestation in the material world, but she's very, um, you know, she's very self-assured. She's very attractive. She's just got it all. So again, for you, I mentioned you're coming into a place where you're going to have it all with the nine and then into the 10 and the outcome. Um, and it's, it's not just the money. Okay. There's going to be, it really is everything you've dreamed about coming towards you. So in the distant past, you've got the Six of Pentacles. And the thing is with this card, it's kind of an interesting card because it, there's balance here with the Libra scales. However, it's um, paradoxical because there's also imbalance, okay? And and that's because this person who's giving to the two that are supposed to be beggars is from a position of power. So I do feel like you've had something in the past with the relationship, or maybe it's been more than one, where it felt kind of parent child ish, like you just always were leveled up. And I hate to say that, say it like that, like above the person, but it's like they were, they were very immature. It feels like they were immature, maybe not ready for a relationship or you've been in relationships like that. Um, the other thing too, with work is it certainly could have been, you were putting in a lot and that was, recognized, but not fully. It was like there was really, you kind of weren't fully given your due in terms of if it was a promotion, you may have been passed up for somebody else. And that could have really led you into, you know, wanting something else, being put on a path of something else instead of just staying there. Cause I think you would have. Um, but anytime there's an imbalance in power, the universe won't allow it for long. The universe will continue to correct situations until they balance out. So in the more recent past, you've got this page of swords. So again, you may have had an ending, but this person's been keeping tabs on you. If it's been, and it may be more than one if for some of you, if it's not a reconciliation, but those of you that is, they definitely are keeping tabs on you through social media, through, you know, even going to places where they think you might be or are prone to being like, you know, they know which grocery store you shop at and they decide to go there. They're very aware and they're trying to do things to pull you back in. They're trying to manifest a sort of like, a, it feels like a chance encounter. 
um, trying to find a way to connect with you again. Um, and certainly if this is work related, you know, you could have people like headhunters and people from human resources looking at you and you don't realize that they're doing it. Um, and that's not a bad thing. It's very common now that we have the internet. You can't really hide much. So you have, um, an, uh, God, what a beautiful, as we go into these this next series of cards, really, really beautiful depth. And this is joy, it's celebration, and it's leaving a very closed situation. So if you were single for a while and enjoying that independence, it may have been getting lately more um, like wanting some companionship. And that's what you're drawing towards you. You're drawing in a companion and it's going to feel like a match. It's a breath of fresh air. It's, uh, you know, it's like being liberated from kind of this, this situation that was closed off into something that's very open that you can, you can speak your mind, you can be who you are, you can wear what you want. You don't have to be anybody else. You are going to be very true to yourself. Now, this is also a marriage card in the tarot. So for those of you um, that are looking to have a long-term relationship, you've got it right here. Um, it's, a, it's, of course, very celebratory energy, but it's also about a commitment and a, a marriage ceremony. So um, for some of you, it's, it's going to, you know, continue to continue here. If not all of you, if that's what you're looking for, because it's definitely here. And, um, and again, I do get, um, like you've been happy. I don't get a, a feeling from this, like you haven't been on, you have been happy, especially with the three of wands and the nine of pentacles, because those are both kind of an unbothered energy. They're like, you know, they kind of are waiting, but they're not anxious about it. It's just very relaxed. And if you say, that is not me, I've been fearful, I've been full of anxiety, then your guidance is to, to let go and, and relax, trust the universe, trust that good things are on your path. And when you do that, they're going to show up. It, it really is a universal law. Um, so you have the Knight of Cups here and you are being divinely guided. So for a period here of being single or if you've been in something um, that maybe wasn't moving forward in the way that you would have liked there was some divine intervention with that um but either way this is also about visualizing it's he's he's very daydreamy okay it's you're moving forward but you're not rushing into anything you're going to be cautiously optimistic especially those of you it's reconciliation you're going to be cautiously optimistic but you're not going to just jump right in it's there's no fool energy here where you're just jumping right in um, you're going to take your time and you're going to make it be right. You know, you're, you've got high expectations and, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so again, some of you might be visualizing and if that's you and you go, yeah, I am keep going with it, whether it's sitting down with a journal and writing down lists of positive aspects or lists of, you know, what you really desire in a mate, continue to do that because it's drawing it towards you. So in this represents the other person. They are the page of cups. And this actually is, is a manifestation card. It certainly can be about an ex too. Um, coming back with an offer. So you look, you know, feels and looks like you will get some communication from this person. And they're, you know, they're lighthearted about it. Um, I think they're they're serious, but they don't, they don't want to do anything that's going to be perceived as um, reminiscent of the past in some way. Like they don't, they, they want you to see them show up for who they are now and not who they were. And even with new people, if there's somebody that's had kind of a past, like you're familiar with them, you've never dated them, but you're familiar with them and kind of skeptical of them. They really do want you to see them for who their potential for who they can be. And, um, you've, yeah, you've definitely got love here because, you know, the thing is too, with this as a clarifier, you've got the knight, the page and the king of cups here. Okay. I mean, you really have 
you've got, you know, a, a very strong love reading here. And this is somebody who wants to run the distance and who wants to make a commitment and wants to, you know, do, do the deal. They want to be all in. They definitely want to be all in with you. Um, and I do feel like they're going to take it at your pace here, Aries. So you, your hopes and fears here, it's the seven of pentacles and it's, you've got waiting here twice. So with the three of wands and then also this, but again, you know, he's kind of more daydreamy, but he's also like, for those of you that are waiting for somebody to return, he knows those ships are coming back. He doesn't sit and fret about, oh God, what if they don't make it back? This is no having a knowing, okay? But there's a very assured kind of feeling with this. Um, so have that knowing, feel it. Know like you know like you know. If that's what you want, this person's definitely coming back. So with the Seven of Pentacles, this is about, you know, building up your life in a way that you know can, is sustainable and building up a relationship that you know will sustain, regardless of what anyone else has to say about it or what's happened in the past. It's definitely something that is, you know, here to last. And with, again, with this Ten of Pentacles, this is not only is it the wealth card in the material sense, um, so you, you're going to continue to have money flowing in, but it's also wealth and harmony for everyone. It's the best for everyone. It is completion of a cycle and it's a brand new, beautiful cycle beginning. And it's like your, your dreams come true. You know, this is like the Walt Disney world card of the tarot. You, re you really have it all coming in and, um, it, it's, it feels beautiful. I mean, it feels like the outlook for months for you when I really get into your energy, it's going to be, there's, there's beautiful momentum, you know, it, it moves, but it doesn't move too fast. It's like, it's really paced and timed in a way that all makes sense. It, it really all makes sense. So, um, beautiful reading for you. So do you have love coming in? Yes. And do you have money coming in? Absolutely. Um, it, it's like your whatever you've been waiting for here with the seven, like, when is it going to get here? It's here. It's here. Just be open to it. Be open and let it in and do what you need to do. So again, if you're somebody that could use some, um, you know, just continued reinforcement, get some, some books or listen to some YouTube stuff and really have your mind, you know, let go of those limiting beliefs and have your mind full of possibilities and opportunities because they are here for you. So we'll close with this Oracle card to attract more love into your life. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break, which you have with the Four of Swords. And that's really the only card you have in here that's even similar to that energy. So Spirit's telling you that's important for you in terms of manifesting. And then we'll close with Abraham Hicks. This is, I can't believe this. Why is it taking me so long? Talk about seven of pentacles, my word. The only reason you have not already received what you desire is because you are holding yourself in a vibrational pattern that does not match the vibration of your desire. So, so do those processes, raise your own vibration. The universe loves speed. And if you can see it in your mind, you absolutely can have it in your reality. But Either way, I mean, great things shall come to pass for you, Aries. I love you so much, and I will be back again soon.